my name is Jana. I'm a student at Eastern New Mexico University. Um, I work as a cashier at Farmers. Um, this is the second time I've been on a mission trip here to the Dominican Republic. I've never actually like um, scraped paint like for a painting before. So that was really neat. Um, it's been it's been really neat this week because we've been learning a lot of new things. Um, like we like we went to like the church and we were singing in Spanish and that was really neat. Um, never done Spanish like that before. And I guess just really trying to just reach out to other people is something that's I'm tend to not do that since so I've been working on doing that more this trip. I just noticed like away from the states, like and away from all the distractions, we kind of interact with each other more. Like, like we're we're reaching out to each other, we're reaching out to others. We're not kind of hiding away like in our phones and you know all the, all the distractions of the states. This week I've had to face, I've had to actually face some kind of hard truths that I've just been avoiding back at home. I've been avoiding them and just doing different things to avoid having to actually face it. And this trip has been very much, I've had to actually put everything to the side and just face these things and just accept them as they are. And... And it's hard sometimes. It's really hard sometimes to just accept that something is what it is, just at face value. We're so used to looking for 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 some sort of catch in things. In some ways, I kind of wish the United States was more like the Dominican Republic because even though people here they don't have some of the same things that we have in the states, they're overall they're just more content with what they have. Like they're happy the way it is. It's and like, of course, they're, it's, they're still trying to better things, but not to the extent where they can never be happy, because they can just accept that that God will get them what they need, and that that's all they need. And and it also. The trips really kind of also made me face that um, God is here for everyone, even yourself when you don't think that He is. He's, it doesn't matter who you are or where you are, what language you speak, God loves you and He cares for you. I signed up for this trip, I wasn't really thinking that when we went to, to to CMA, to the Caribbean Mountain Academy, that it is a residential treatment center. So it was it was kind of hard just even going to CMA because my brother's been to a lot of places like that and it was really hard kind of knowing that because he's told me before that when he went to some of those places they could be just absolutely stunning and he just wanted to go home and so that was hard this trip knowing that like as, as happy as some of the students there are some of them just really just want to go home and sometimes I think we need to look at the world we're in now like that like like it's 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 beautiful on this earth and there's so much you can do, so many people you can help, but at the same time, I think we we need to be really just longing for God to to go home to and I think sometimes we get lost in the here and the now and we forget to look forward, we forget to look ahead. Or or we're stuck looking behind. I'm Marissa. I'm a full-time college student back at home. I've never been out of the country before. So I'm 
relatively new to the church. I've been working a lot, so I haven't been able to attend or get to know people. And I saw a lot of their kindness with helping other people. Like when we hired, I don't know his name, and a couple people gave him their extra sandwich that, like I'm pretty stingy with food, so that <laughs> was something that I know. Um, if he wants you to do something, you're going to do it regardless whether you want to or not. Like, I don't normally sing in church because I don't like people hearing me and just because of anxiety. But when we had that night at the chapel, I couldn't help but sing. I even cried during that night when people started gathering together and putting their hands on the student. I couldn't help but sing louder and cry. I thought the... Dominican would be pretty different. I would think he'd be more like Mexico, which it's not. I've seen that people are closer as a community because I don't see a lot of phones like in America. No one's really staring at their phone. They're talking to other people. Like they would even wave at us and say hi while we were in the bus. Um, I got to connect with some of the ladies that I roomed with just from jumping in with our conversations. I'm not usually one to do that, but I've been really looking to make relationships with other people that know God, and it was easier than I thought it would be. My name is Grayson Stubbs and I am an ENMU college athlete. Um, makes concrete from scratch with awesome people. Um, I noticed that as the week went on, we all started to become more and more as a family and more close and had a great bond. I learned that no matter your circumstance, he's always there with you, no matter how far or close you are with him, he's always there and wants to be close with you. I see the Dominican as an amazing place that has amazing people that love God. I see our team as people who just want to help others, that care for others, and want to be around others to show the word of God. And I experienced God in everything that we did. Just kidding. Um, probably the short story would be the day it rained the whole time, we were outside mixing concrete for no apparent reason. Just kidding, there's a reason we were covering holes. But we were mixing concrete as it was raining and it was super fun. Mm -hmm. I am Sierra Costed and I am a college student right now. Um, I mixed concrete by hand. I've never been a super outdoorsy work type of person. I normally found something to do inside the house. Um, and this week was a lot of fun because I got to do a lot of stuff outside that I normally would never do. So when I came into this, I didn't know a ton of the people I was working with. I knew a couple of the college kids and I knew like Don and Franklin and Marie, but I wasn't really like close to any of them. So throughout the week, I got to know a lot of the new people um, and <laughs> they're all such jokesters which was a lot of fun to do all week. Um, that he truly works in every way that is possible. There were times that I was discouraged and frustrated and then something would happen and my entire like viewpoint of what just happened would completely change. The Dominican is a very different place than what we have back in Portales. Um, it was interesting to see all of the different people, all of the different things that they do and the different culture that they have from us. Um, but it's amazing that the God we serve is the God they serve and that the same God loves everyone the same. So going off of the culture that is so different, um, anytime I tried to do anything outside for the most part, the locals would be like, oh no, 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 don't do that. And they would kind of push me out of the way. And it was just funny to see like, back home, the guy would be like, oh yeah, you can totally do that. And then here it was like, no, don't do that. We got it. We got it. Don't hurt yourself. 
Um, my name is Liliana Malkin. I'm a student at Eastern New Mexico University. I've actually never been on a missions trip at all, so this whole trip itself was kind of a really neat experience to have, getting to work with so many different people and see a different community and seeing just where I can give. And it was really neat because I got to see, you know, kind of what I'm good at and it was really neat just to get to see those things. Um, I learned that working together is really important and once we all were able to start working together, things went so smooth and so fast. It was really crazy and all of us were able just to really create this beautiful project and it was really cool just to see that happen. I think that's a really good question. I've been thinking about that a lot. Um, I think what I've really seen is that he is just so loving. I mean, we come out here and we expect to be the people just giving. And I came out here and I saw so many people giving back to us. I mean, the church community wanted to give us a meal and they wanted to help us as much as we could. And the boys here at CMA were really just caring and generous with their time with us and things like that. And it was really amazing to see how God's love affects everything around us. I had definitely been going through a rough patch before going on this trip. So it was really good to come on this. It showed me how how good really God is. And it was really beautiful to see so many people loving God in return. I think it was really just, I was so nervous at the beginning of this trip going on it because I knew people coming on the trip, but everybody else like knew people better. So I was really scared that I was going to be kind of alone. And that did not happen. It was amazing just how immediately everyone came together and really kind of became a family. And that was really meaningful. And I think that's amazing to see. And it was just beautiful.